Hi guys, uh, it's just, just a quick update on the uh, on the rework oven. I'm just making the uh, the jig up. Um, I'll show you the bit I've just done. Right, I've just cut some fiberboard inserts to go in each end. Oh, as you can see there, and. Uh, this one I've just marked the centre and drilled through it. And same the uh, same the other end. The the inserts hopefully will just stop the uh, aluminium trying to collapse when I tighten up the threaded rod, which is there. I've got some uh, nuts and washers. So the idea now is to um, just drill the centre through these little uh, fiberboard inserts and uh, then the rod can run straight the way through like that and there won't be any I mean these will be done up quite tightly but if I hadn't put an insert in there I think there would be a tendency for this uh, this section to try and drop down as I move the jig around but now with the uh, with the insert drilled in the center and uh, bolted up there shouldn't be any tendency for it to move so I'm going to carry on drilling these uh, bits out and uh, I'll uh, end this video and then I'll just uh, all the others I make I'll just uh, add them uh, add them to this so you can see the uh, the progress so uh, back in a minute all right guys back again um, this is what I've done this afternoon we've bolted the three pieces together a little handle uh, on the end there remember I talked about the flexible arms having little lampshades on the end well <laughs> that's what they are so I've just just in case I need to move it around when it's uh, it's hot so we've got the three bits bolted together handles on that end. Now unfortunately I've run out of uh, nuts and uh, washers. I thought I was buying a pack of 20 but it turns out it was only 10. Um, but I think this side I'll use for bigger boards. Um, you can see it's quite a quite a good size. And then this side is a smaller ring and uh, I've made up a little jig here. Um, there's washers and nuts missing from that side. But uh, I can just undo those and move it around, and I can just undo these and slide it around like that as well, and then just nip it back up. I can't do it with one hand, but you get the uh, you get the idea. Um, I was thinking of just drilling through the sides and mounting it, but I actually think it might be useful to have it uh, higher like that. Uh, and if I wanted to, I suppose I could make up something here and, uh, and make it even higher depending on what we're doing. The only thing I'm not sure about is um, should I carefully machine out this here um, so a board will just slot in place and I can tighten it up or whether I just put some uh, some pegs along here um, and tighten these up against the, the sorry so the board tightens up against the pegs that are both sides not sure which way to go yet. There's probably enough aluminium there just to take out a little square section, but uh, I'm not sure I've got the right gear uh, to do it. I've got a router, but I think all the bits will be for for wood. Uh, I want to keep this cheap, so I don't want to even want to take these off and have the machine somewhere. So I'll probably go with the uh, the peg route. I might get some small metal dowels. I just drill some holes in various places along here and the other side and uh, use the little dowels uh, in different holes to uh, support any odd shaped boards um, but I'm quite happy with that we'll, uh, we'll have to get some more nuts and washers tomorrow um, but I think uh, I think we're getting there so I'll, uh, I'll speak to you later